This video is to show you how to update the firmware for an Animatix Class 5 smart motor. I would right click on my COM port, address the RS-232 chain to establish communication. As you see the motor has popped up underneath COM1 and in parentheses the firmware version 5.0.1.6. You can also see this by double clicking on the motor and hit and pull and look underneath the info tab underneath the version firmware. Notice that it is a 16 at the end of this version firmware. Next you want to go to files.animatics.com that's where the latest firmware version for class 5 is located presently. If it is not there please contact Animatics to locate it in the future. After I've logged, on, logged in I will select class 5 and then firmware folder. And right there you will see the latest is 5026. The one I have in the motor right now is 16. So there's been 10 revisions since the one I've put in that motor. Please save that file somewhere located on your computer so we can download it. Right click on the smart motor icon and you'll have an option that says download firmware. You'll have to search and find the firmware file. It is a .hex and it has, the, it has the firmware version there, 5026. That is the latest that we have. So I will open that file and I'll say warning and it'll tell you are you ready to download the firmware. Now I will click yes. This process can take a minute or two as it goes through and downloads and updates the firmware. One thing I do want to note is I recommend you to save the program before you download the firmware. Downloading the firmware will not erase the program but it is good practice to have it saved somewhere just in case something goes wrong. Secondly I want to make a note that downloading firmware to a class 5 motor can only be done one motor at a time but that motor can be daisy chained in an RS-232 chain. So if you have a machine set up and you have motor 3 on that 4 motor chain that needs to have updated firmware then you could still do that without having to break the wires you will just have to select that motor icon as all the motor icons will pop up underneath that COM port. And this is how you download the firmware to a Nanomax Smart Motor Class 5. After this, you will see I can readdress the RS-232 chain, and we'll see the new firmware version. And it is correct, 5026.